Hey fam, it's Evie and today I want to talk to you guys about how to improve your positivity and your confidence in yourself. Now I know not all the time are we walking around feeling great and feeling positive in ourselves. There are a lot of days where we feel down, we feel uh, depressed about who we are or where we've gone in our lives, what we've accomplished. But I want to try to give you some three simple key steps to apply to your life that hopefully will help you to improve your positivity level and improve your confidence level in yourself. And the first thing is to embrace yourself. A lot of times we're walking around with a mask on. We are one person in front of our friends. We're a totally different person in front of our family. We're definitely a different person at work. I mean, there's things that we know we shouldn't do at work and I'm not saying to go out there and let it all hang out because that's who you are and you're embracing yourself. But what I am saying is, if you have an interest in something, if you have aspirations for something and you're proud and confident of who you are, you don't have to hide that from other people. Be who you are wherever you are. The true you will always come out. The true you will always show. But if you're constantly trying to compress you into a little, little container and trying to hold you back, trying not to expose your real self to everyone, you're gonna start to feel negative about yourself. You're gonna think that maybe I'm weird. Maybe the things that I like to do are weird to other people. But realistically, who cares what other people think about you? What they think about you doesn't change who you are. And if it does, you need to, you know, kind of take a look at yourself and understand like, why is it that other people's opinions should matter and who you are being true to yourself. So embrace yourself. Embrace the things that you love about yourself. Embrace the, your interests. Embrace the things that represent you and that make you who you are. Number two, improve yourself. Now that might seem contradictory to number one, you might say like, well, if I'm being who I am, why would I need to improve? Well, I'm not saying just because you embrace yourself doesn't mean you can't be a better you. Embrace the things that are true to you, but at the same time, improve yourself. And by improving yourself, you're going to hold your head high, you're going to walk around with your shoulders pulled back, you're going to be 10 times more confident because you know what's up here. You know what's in here. You're proud of what you've accomplished and you're going to want to expose that and, and show that to other people. So improve yourself. So number three, stop comparing yourself to other people. Comparing yourself to other people brings nothing but negative opinions about yourself. You can't compare yourself to other, someone else. They have different circumstances, different situations, different factors that have tied into their life to get them to where they are. And you can't put yourself in their same shoes because no one lives the same life. When you compare yourself to others, all you do is generate negative thoughts. So what you need to do is start making and improving yourself. Look at yourself internally, think about where you want to be, start putting incremental goals to that and start knocking them off your own list. And look at where you, and compare who you are today to who you were yesterday. Compare who you are today to who you were three months ago. And when you see your own personal growth and how you've actually changed yourself, you're going to automatically start to feel more positive and more confident in your abilities and you're gonna be 10 times more proud. So go ahead and apply those three things. Number one, embrace yourself. Number two, improve yourself. Number three, stop comparing yourself to others and start comparing yourself to you.